Hey guys, welcome back to WixFix. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you everything about images from basic to advanced tips. But before I get into the tutorial, I wanted to let you guys know that I did launch my brand new website. So feel free to go check it out. And with that, I also launched a Patreon for you guys to support me. And I also have different services available to you guys. So feel free to check that out if you're interested. Now let's jump right into the tutorial. So if you're new to Wix, you're probably wondering how to add images. So you can just go to add, you can go to image, and then you can either upload your own images or you can use stock images from Wix. But let's start by adding our own images. So we're gonna go to my images. It's gonna take you to your media library. You can either press upload media here or at the top left of the screen, you can press upload media. And then you can press upload from the computer or you can actually just drag images in. And then all you have to do is press add to page. Now you're gonna see it's gonna add it to page and then you can basically do whatever you want with it. Place it where you want. Um, you can drag and drop it. You can use the toolbar over here if you want to align it to the center. Let me also show you how to add a stock image. So if we go to add image, you can either select my upload images or you can do stock images. Um, stock images will take you right there, but if you click my images, right down here you're gonna see media from Wix which Wix has a wonderful library of professional stock photos. You can also buy photos from Sh Shutterstock, but this is not my preferred method. Um, my preferred method is actually on Splash right here. So this is a really, really good um, professional stock photo library. Um, if you go to unsplash.com, um, that's what I would use for my designs even before I used Wix. And it's really cool that it's built into Wix. So all you have to do is Go to Unsplash, then you can search up, let's say, dog. And then it's going to pull up a bunch of great images. For this example, let's just pull up this dog right here. So we'll go ahead and press add to page. I'm going to shrink it down by grabbing these handles on the corners. And we'll shrink it down. Um, and then let's say I wanted to add some filters to it. So right here, with the image selected, you can press filters. And then here you can go through a bunch of different options. Okay, so my favorite is Kennedy or Faded for certain images. It doesn't really work for this one. Um, but I'm just gonna leave it as is for now. And then what I'm also gonna show you is the design. So if we press design, you're gonna see that Wix offers a bunch of different, like a different types of frames that you can put it in. Um, my personal favorite to put it in is this one right here. So it's kind of a circular one and it has a border. And if you do customized design, you can actually control the width of the border. You can have no border if you don't want it. And then you can also change the shadow angle, distance, size, blur, and opacity. Um, and then you can also change the color of the border itself. And the last thing I wanna show you on this right here is you can press settings right here, and then you can actually change the SEO of the image. Now, if you watched my last tutorial, you are already familiar with this, but what SEO is, is search engine optimization. So this is gonna tell Google and your users what this image is or what it's related to. And if a user on Google searches for something specific, Google will connect the dots and it'll recommend your website to that user. So here, all you have to do is delete this, tell Google like, Wix fix loves dogs, something like that. And right here you can say dogs are great, great. There we go. So that is how you add SEO to images. So basically that's how you add images to your website. You can upload your own or you can use stock. Um, also something to note is you can crop images. Um, so let's say there is like too much room above it or too much room below the dog and you wanted to only grab like a certain amount of the image, you can press apply um, and that's what it's gonna look like. However, with this um, current design I have on there, current frame, that's what it's gonna look like. But this is gonna look like if you crop it normally. Otherwise, it'll look like the square image like I had before. And that's basically it for the image elements on Wix. Next thing I wanna show you is Wix's image editor. So let's go ahead and go and press settings and then we'll do adjust. Here, 
You can also crop the image how you want. You can also do ad enhancements, so it can auto enhance and stuff like that. You can adjust the image brightness, contrast, saturation, all that kind of stuff. You can add similar filters to what we had before, but the one thing I really wanna show you is cutout. So right here, if we do auto cutout, it's gonna cut out the dog for us. And it does a pretty good job of it for in most cases. So now if we press save and we go back to our website, it's just gonna remove the background for us. Now some more complex images, it might be kind of hard to do that with, uh, but for this example with a solid color background or a simple background, it works very well. Now I kinda wanna show you background images. So if we go here, add, we do a strip, we go to classic and pull it out. It's just gonna be a normal base color. But if we go to change strip background and we do image, here you can upload your own images that you want for the background. Or again, you can choose images from Wix or Unsplash. Okay, we're just gonna use this image right here. And you're gonna see this image is gonna take up the whole width of the website because it's the background of the strip. Now, if we go over to settings, you can change the opacity of the image, um, and then you can also set the color of the background so that if you change the image opacity, you'll actually get kind of like a color overlay vibe. You can also set the positioning. So if you want the position to be at the top, so you can get the tip of the mountain, you can do that. Um, and then you can also change the SEO of the background image here. So cool mountains. That's what we're gonna say right there. Obviously you want to be more specific with what your website is actually about, not just what the image is. Okay, and then we're gonna lower this down a little bit. And then right here, you can press background scroll effect. Now this has several different options, but personally my favorite is parallax and reveal. So the top two. Okay, so now that we've added parallax, let's go ahead and preview the site. And we can scroll down and you can see that the background doesn't move as fast as the foreground. And that's a really cool modern image technique. So that basically wraps it up for the tutorial today. I hope you guys did enjoy. I know this tutorial may have seemed a little basic, but there are some cool techniques that you can use on your website. If you did learn something, please press that like button and consider subscribing for more content coming in the future. Thank you guys again and I'll see you all in the next one.